I'm just gonna say Trisha Paytas, like this is not, sorry, just you have been completely rude to me multiple times saying I, she doesn't have a personality, she can't dance, she's basic, like you have your own problems, please stop worrying about mine. Like please stop talking about me. You're not a very nice person. The past two months has been hell. And all the hate messages and the bashing, when none of you even know who I am. And uh, I've always been there for Trisha Paytas from day one. I've been there through everything, all the ups and downs, all of the drama and crap, all of the ups and downs with blasting our relationship online. <laughs> I'm not gonna come on YouTube and bash Trisha and belittle her because that's not who I am. Because of this situation, my reputation is just being dragged through the mud. It's, it's not cool. It's not cool, and I'm not gonna do that to anybody else because I'm not that person. I never have been that person, and I'm not gonna begin. I just watched the video, and, and I, I, feel, I feel awful for her. I feel, I feel horrible. I, I'm really sad. I think I'm a pretty selfless person, so I'm definitely feeling for her now more than myself. Um, once told me, she said, I, I break up with people. I said, I, I can't break up with people. I, I, do, I do awful things until that person breaks up with me. So I said, okay. So she's like, oh yeah. She's like, well, I'll never break up with you. She's like, you're gonna have to break up with me. And I said, okay, all right, whatever. I don't know if that was a joke or whatever. Um, and it clearly wasn't a joke because I feel like the last few weeks she's been putting these things in front of me that make it impossible to date her here and, and and call her any names. I'm not gonna say that she, you know, things that I wasn't happy with in the relationship. I love her. I'll always love her. Um, I don't like that she made that video about me, but um, I'm, I'm here for her if she wants to talk, but she's not someone that can be spoken to or reasoned with, or at least I, I can't reason with her. So, I'm a good person. I loved her. I bent over backwards and tried to make her happy, and tried to do everything I could. And I don't know, I think, I don't, I think all this is bull I think it's all, I think it's all like, I, think, I don't know. I don't think any of it's real. I mean, she was texting me already planning her video. She was like, well, I'm gonna post this video. So you, you know, I'm like, you're, you're already preparing your statement. Like I wasn't even done with the relationship and she was already texting me that she was gonna post a breakup video. It's like, okay. So yeah, so. And I frankly can't, I can't risk as much as I love and respect Trisha and, she, and she's so talented, entertaining and all the great things about her, I can't risk having someone close to me in my life who was willing to just step out into the public eye and say anything about me when things go a little south. That's just not something I, that, that's just not something that uh, I can accept, frankly. And, you know, we had fought before, but this obviously went to a new degree where she's posting our text messages. She's saying, I'm a liar. I'm a manipulator. And, you know, one thing that really upset me was like her going and amplifying people going, put making these whole things about like, oh, Ethan's racist or whatever stupid things I've done in the past. She's out there liking those tweets. And it's like, okay, so. So this is nothing to do with our fight. This is just you trying to hurt me as much as possible. I understand this. And I understand that she was hurt and she was confused and, you know, she felt trapped. But I just can't bring that. I can't invite that back into my life. I can't. Me and Trisha were friends we met over five years ago on... Facebook. I started to leave comments on her posts and she started to respond to them. 
she was enjoying. She kept on saying she enjoyed my support. I made references. She got them. Thought they were funny. And we kept on being. And I kept on engaging her social media and stuff like that. She followed me. Unfollowed me. Posted it publicly. That I was somehow threatening her and scaring her. I've had people wish my death. I've had people threaten me. I had people wish death on my mom so she wouldn't have to live with a freak like with the shame of a, having a freak like me for a son. I'm literally going through hell because of your overzealous fans. But the thing is, I still can't hate her. I hope when karma does come to collect, it isn't too severe. I was a big fan of Trisha. I loved her energy. I loved everything about her. Uh, imagine what it's, what it's like to be a nobody or a very small YouTuber. When someone with millions is talking to you and noticing you, it's like oh, the most amazing feeling ever. What happened? Like I said in that, in that thing to her, I said, I don't want to expose you. I want to show you my integrity. I'm going to keep this between us because I would like to know, you know, you're a huge YouTuber and you recognized me and you asked me to come over multiple times. You told me you were free. You gave me a day. And then I was just like ignored. And I was thinking like, what? When she saw this message, instead of just telling me straight up, she took our DMs, edited out her messages to me, cropped them out, deleted them, put my messages together, and then sent them all over the internet. Then people started tweeting me, Nick is a desperate social climber. Nick is a weird, crazy, disgusting, manipulative person, making it seem like Trisha wanted to collab. She never wanted to collab. He just used her. He got on a plane and flew all the way there, and he never even spoke to her. They didn't even know a day. They didn't even know to make, to humiliate me. And she only did it once she read my message saying, hey, can you give me a little closure? What did I do wrong? This wasn't my idea. It's not like I said, Trisha, can I collab? And I begged her to death. This was her idea. This is real if she is being truthful that she loves being sticks up for me and she thinks I'm awesome and everything. Why have I never heard from her to rectify that huge shitstorm that she pretty much caused me and my family and all of my viewers? Hear from her. If she's watching Trisha, I'd love to hear from you. If not, I mean, it would be great if you say something to all of your viewers who have been on my channel harassing me for two years. That would be great. See, I've, I've filmed with Trisha Pace before. We've hung out. I see the good in her and what she has. I see it. She is, she's not a mean, evil person like that. Like, she's not. But she has these instances where, you know, stuff just kind of, she gets angry, you know? And when she gets angry or she gets upset or she gets her feelings hurt, but... I've seen where Trisha Paytas tries to hold back, but then she like ends up going all all in, right? So she's upset about something, like she'll hold it in for a little bit, but then it, it, it just kind of like spirals, okay? I just kind of feel like she starts to spiral and like she kind of like just says stuff like, would this happen? When it kind of like did, but that like, didn't. That makes sense. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of like I don't know how to, it's like a, like a half truth. Like a lot of half truths come out. I'll give you like a perfect example. Like the time uh, she accused me of stealing her camera. Okay, and, and she brought it to my attention a year later. And I'm like, girl, I don't have your camera. If I stole your camera and you have receipts and proof that I stole your camera, you would have made a video that day. You would have been tweeting and all that stuff that day. And you waited a whole year to bring it up. And I got all this hate and all this backlash over this camera. My my video quality is still just as, as crappy as it was back then. So I don't I don't know what you're talking about. She was angry about something about Jeffrey Star in Vegas and how she was treated, and then it kind of went oh yeah, and then the bag in my camera, and it was kind of like girl, you know what I'm saying? It's like you would think I, I remember I was so angry because I was like that's not true, that is a lie, but I was like if I come out and say something, no one's gonna believe me, you know like. It just really hurts me because it's uh, it's like um, 
It's just like a ding, a ding in my character. You know what I'm saying? That didn't even happen. Do I want an apology for her? It would be nice, but we live in a world where people don't do that. When they mess up, they don't apologize.